Hi, this is Christine with the Science Off Center team, and I've got another really fun experiment. This week I've got a homemade lava lamp, so it's really neat. What you need is an empty water bottle, some vegetable oil, water, food coloring. You can use any color you want, but I'm going to use blue because it's nice and dark and easy to see. You'll need some Alka-Seltzer tablets and a funnel to help you pour things. So the first thing you're going to do is add your food coloring to your water. You don't really have to mix it in, just let it sit there. You're going to take your water and add it to your empty bottle. And you want to fill it up about halfway. And we'll go a little bit more. That looks good. So I'm going to leave my funnel there because we're going to add our vegetable oil next. And you're going to use your vegetable oil and fill it up about the rest of the way of the bottle. Now, as that settles, you'll notice a couple of things. First, the oil and the water don't like to mix. That's because the water has polar molecules and the oil has nonpolar molecules. And nonpolar molecules and polar molecules, they don't like to mix. You also notice that the water is on the bottom. And even if I added the water second, it would still be on the bottom because it's more dense than the oil. So it's always going to go to the bottom. Now that it's all settled, you're ready to do the lava lamp effect. So you're going to need your alka seltzer tablets. You're going to take one tablet and break it up into a couple different pieces. Next, you're going to add your pieces to your water bottle and watch what happens. So, what's happening is when the alka seltzer reaches the water, it's dissolving. And when it's dissolving, it's producing a gas. And that gas is less dense than the oil and water, so it's floating to the top. And it's carrying some of those that colored water with it. Once it gets to the top, that bubble pops, and the water is, again, more dense than the oil, so it sinks back down to the bottom. And so that's how you have your lava lamp. So I hope you had fun with this really neat lava lamp experiment. Be sure to check us out again for another fun experiment next week. Bye!